Hello. So today, you see, we have come again. This is Patience Pencils channel, and meet it's Sabna. Yeah, thanks so much for stopping by. Yeah, I'm here with my mom. It's another video, and we are going to be talking about high school experiences. So I'm going to be, like sharing mine, and she's also going to be sharing hers. Yeah, we are going to yeah have like a chit chatty video. So stay tuned for more fun and everything. Love you. I love you more. But don't forget, if you want more of this, keep on subscribing to our channels. It's a plan and patience based to this channel. You know, when you subscribe, become a VVIP member of this channel. So every video that drops, you are first to get it and be notified. So let's get into the video. Let's get started. You know, apparently, we all went to a Methodist school. So, for me, well, I want to, I want you to keep on coming. But I want to give you a hint of the school I went. Our slogan goes like this. Or we call ourselves Young Soul. Then you respond so strong. If you are here and you know the school, please don't forget to drop a comment. Or else you have to keep on coming and coming and coming before you get to know the school. Another tip is that, you know, it can be found on the west side of Ghana. The west side. You know, the when we say the west, the best always comes from the west. So, guys, I drop the comment. So, and for Isabna, if you care to know the school, you know, they have this slogan that goes okay, like not, this. Not even that. Right, wrong. As I indicated, we are sharing high school experiences like secondary school you know in ghana we tell me that senior secondary school it used to be secondary in our days we go to secondary schools you know the generations have come and gone and you know at times they change the weddings for certain things by the same secondary school i remember in our days you know that kind of thing you've not been to a secondary school before or you, you, you find yourself in a boarding house. You've not been in a boarding house before. And you see, come to think of it, at the end of the day, you have to bath. And apparently, as a junior, you, you will never get kind of a private bathhouse. You need to be bathing among many. How do you do it? Tell me. How, 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 how was it like in your days? So for me, I remember I would wake up 15 minutes before time because I don't want anybody to I mean look at my beautiful body Baby, you have to also drop a comment how you were doing yours. So I'll go there and but I was shy <laughs> So as for me Yeah, I really didn't know anything about high school Like when I was going well, I did ask people but then was it like I knew a lot and I thought I knew we had cubicles, but like I just didn't have any form of knowledge about how it would be like. I was so lost. So the first day I went, actually, like the first day, actually. But then I remember them counting down for me. But then by the time they finished counting down, like I was like, I didn't know, I didn't understand. She wanted me to change into my nighty right in front of her and then go and go and bath. So. It was just so confusing and then like i went to the dining hall and i didn't know where to sit and everyone was seated the place was just so quiet like i just didn't know anything like at all so uh, my first day was pretty was pretty stressful that was my first time being like away from my parents but then i should keep on going through the system you during first semester you might have some like a lot of problems but then as you keep on going through the semesters first semester second semester it becomes easier not very easy but easier i don't think you can really ever get so part and parcel of the system until like you reach form three or so but then it becomes very very easy yeah it's way different from your life at home Okay, so this shed, there is another thing, you know, definitely man has to eat, right? And when you are going, if you are at the bee, hey, your chop box, you know, 
you will definitely have some kind of provisions here and there. And but for me, I felt I should not give so much. I, I will put so much stress on my parents. So whatever is given me, I will rather use it economically. So um, during dining, well, you know, in school, I don't want to be punished. I, I was always law abiding. So I, I don't want to break any rules. When it's dining time, I'll go. What I feel I have to eat, I'll eat it. But then there were certain foods strictly I didn't like though. Like, you know, there was this kind of is it soup or is, yeah, they call it gaso. I don't know what they call it now. I think they use flour or something to prepare. And I never liked it. They never you know, they always brought it alongside with gar kinky. And at times too, they will well to tell you one to five, I went to a day school. It was sixth form that I went to a boarding house. So me apparently I spent only two years in the boarding house. I should say I enjoyed it though because you, you there are so many things you will learn. You learn from others. Yeah, but to the dining issue. Though I didn't like that gaso, well, I will go take my a, a bit of my shito along so that if that day is gaso, I will eat it with my shito. And you know, oh, thank you to my dear mother. As for my mom, you know, my mom is this mother who doesn't like outside food. Everything she wants to prepare herself. She is really a virtuous woman. She will give me shito prepared duty by hell so you can have, imagine it's big even my friends came and at times they would seek for some i'll give them yes because it was so nice nicely prepared i'll take some to the dining hall it has everything grinded together so protein everything is inside so you are sure of a balanced diet that was what i i was doing though ask for me regarding the Yes, just uh, regarding the dining issue. I mean, this period where we have free SHS and stuff, her period was regular school paying, school time type of thing. So, as for us, we don't really get the food is fine, but we don't really, I don't feel like, I feel like we don't get what they used to get. So, I don't know if they are, they are trying to improve it, but I don't know if there are foods that like. I'm totally okay with because they are obviously they are very very different from what we normally eat at home. So yeah, the shutter really helps if you are coming to school. Please don't make a mistake and leave your shutter in the house. And if yeah. possible, if possible, if possible, get like a lot of protein inside your shutter. Because if you come to a school like mine, you're not allowed to add any other thing like sardine starkest you cannot add anything so it's you have to really really rely on your shit so if you can bring like it depends on the number of months you're going to be spending in school and you, the only day you can add something to your food is on saturdays only on saturdays so you might want to really venture in your shit so yeah i don't know if the the food i can't complain because everyone everyone is in it so yeah that's dining for us and then if you come to a school like mine too you can't miss dining it's actually against the rules so you have to really really go for dining and also it's not a bad thing because it actually helps if you don't go for dining already with the dining food you are slamming down and coming unhealthy then without the dining food like you die so please <laughs> please go for dining it's sometimes not motivating but please go for dining just close your eyes and eat the food all right you know there is this i should say this one is called a student companion this issue with gary now you know for us with eye challenges i didn't really like taking gary to school though because I felt it will affect my eyesight. Well, even if I take it to school, 
uh, there will surely be some left for me to <laughs> maybe yeah. give out or something. But these days, I think life is a bit challenging. She said she can't go without karaoke. Before I went to school, like, karaoke is not one thing I like. Gary is not really anything. Gary is not something I like. It's one of my most hated foods. Like, before I went to school, like, I actually told my mom that, and my auntie, so my auntie is that Gary is not part of my chubbox list. That I won't send it because I don't want it. So they were able to talk to me and then they said that it's my school Bible. So I send it. Me now, me and Gary, please. We are, we, are, we are best friends. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. We are we are <laughs> best friends. So like, but please, if you are like me, please change your mind because you can't say you are going to school without Gary. In a case where, like, you don't always get calling time, and if you are not like, if you are not fortunate enough to get a guardian or a form master that is really good, you might not. If there's no calling time, you might not always be able to talk to your parents. So, it is Gary that you rely on. Mm, and then your mail to please, parents, <laughs> please mm, give us advice. Please give us more milk. And the one thing here too, please. <laughs> please give us more milk. Well, this comes to mind. I want to take this opportunity to advise the youth of today. You know, it looks like they are comfortable with everything and it's like they feel everything should be gotten on a silver. I believe that everything that is giving you, no matter the quantum, try to find a way of economizing it. Don't compare yourselves with others. You know, these hands Actually. are never the same. You see, these hands are never the same. Even what you get, know that some somebody is not even getting a quarter of it so always be grateful to god and keep on praying for your parents or guardian and keep on doing it when you keep on doing that you know definitely know that as god blesses them they will never leave you hand a like just like that they will definitely come to your aid when you call another thing i want to say in fact there is this one I, I liked about my school days, especially during church service, after the collections, we would have this song that we sang to thank God, and it went like this. Gracious God, to Thee we raise this our sacrifice of praise. You know, it begins with, for the beauty of the I think you know it. Please take your hymn books and sing it. It's so refreshing, so soothing to the heart, and I love it. Yeah, we also have a similar song, but yeah, we also sing it after um, of a tune. It's also a Methodist team, so. And how is this song? I'll take the gifts you have bestowed and humbly ask for more. That's it. So if you have more, drop it. Or if you want to ask to share certain lines of experiences other than those we have shared, please do. Because, you know, going to the secondary school is fun and being a border is actually the whole experience we have just shared a bit of it but i know you out there has more to share with us don't forget to subscribe to our channels it's sabna and patience being so there's been to us kitchen today yeah. thank you for watching if you enjoyed up to this point please make sure to give us a like <laughs> subscribe to our youtube channels i'll link should link my channel down below so, and please comment if you have more tips. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and see you all next week. Bye. Bye.